Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back or to my channel. My name's Jarvis and in this video, I'm gonna show you, do a full fat tour of my camper that I built. What do I start with? Um, I guess to start, it's on the back of my car, which is a Holden Rodeo 2008 three liter turbo diesel, four drive. So it's a dual cab, has heaps of space in the cab and also a 1.8 meter tray. This whole thing is, it's all second hand um, that's why it has writing and shit all over it. But basically it's all made out of, completely out of cool room paneling and RHS steel. So it's 50 mil cool room paneling, so it's full insulated and 40 mil RHS. Now, I guess we'll come around here. This is my good old door, this is how you get in. And this is my rope. So my door, I've just got a 1.4 meter wide door on gas struts. And this stuff, it's fully made out of uh, ACM, which is aluminium composite panel. And then I've just got more 25 mil RHS. It's all RHS, um, the whole frame. Basically this spot down here, this is completely bare. I just finished it. I, I have nothing in it besides my clothes and shit. But basically I've got this 1.9 tall by 1.8 wide by 1.8 long. So this whole area is the chillaxing area, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the kitchen side all the way over here. So it'll be, you know, a big massive long bench, stove there, fridge on slide out things, and then all my electrical gear up in this side, which I've just got two batteries right now. And then on this side, I'm gonna have a couch, a big old couch, which is also like a chest, so I'll be able to fold up the seat and then be able to have storage of tools and whatever I want in it. But for now, all I've got is I've got, I made up these shelves out of 25 mil angle and then just some, but these, it's just interlocking panels of wood and then I've just got the steel frame. And that's where I store my entire life, which is just saucepans, cameras and clothes. And then on this side, I've also got another one, which is a bit smaller, so it doesn't go all the length because this side I have my head when I sleep. Yeah, I've got my bed. So this is a double bed. So it's 1.8 by 1400, which just fits a double bed. So it's not queen size, which is a bit of a bummer for taller people. But for me, I'm shorter than 1.8, so I fit perfectly. So yeah, and underneath the bed, I've just got, basically I've just got um, plywood. So that's just flooring ply under there. And then underneath that to seal it, I've got proper good color bond truck tin. So it's stuff to actually make it like this shit here is that's in the weather. So, and then I've just siliconed it all, all of it. It's all watertight. So in the rain, no water gets in here. Yeah. Also the floor, I've just got marine carpet for now. You know, I, people do do like just flooring, like actual wood, but I've gone for the marine carpet just because it's so versatile. I'm able to just spill shit and then pull it out and wash it and then put it back in. And then underneath it is also just flooring ply. That's pretty much the inside. I'm also, other plans in here is I'm gonna put a roof vent here and then a couple massive windows. So there'll be a big window here on this side, big window on that side, and then a circular window probably at my head up there. And then that's about it. I need to do lighting and everything like that. So, but it's all a work in progress. And then I guess we go outside. <coughs> so, back out here, I've just, I was gonna go the full door, so the full door length, but I decided to only go 1400 and then leave a 400 mil gap. So here is gonna be a big ladder up onto the roof, which will have roof racks, solar panels, and whatever else I want up there. And then behind the ladder is also gonna be uh, a big, gas bottle and then the lead will go inside because I don't want the gas bottle inside the camper. And then, yeah, basically I've just got it. These legs come down. We welded up these legs and um, basically I've got these wind up legs that go on, caravan wind up legs that go on to there. You wind it up, unbolt it, and then you just drive your car out and then you got a normal ute. So it's really simple and really easy. And I've just got proper chain and turnbuckles and D-shackles, so it's really strong chain to the chassis, which means you don't need to drill anything to the chassis 
all it is is just chains and D shackles really. So I'm gonna paint it as well, probably white, and then do heaps of different designs on the outside. Um, but yeah, it's all secondhand stuff. So this, as where I could, I would get source stuff secondhand, but where I had to get new stuff, I would. So all up, only cost probably just below 1500. And that's including all RHS, all cool room paneling, tin, shelves, gas struts, glue, screws, everything. Turnbuckles, it's all pretty cheap. It's not that much of an investment. And yeah, it's pretty good, it's livable. So I've been living in it for like a month. And yes, so there will be a full video of the actual build. So every single step that I do from start to finish of the camper build. So if you do wanna watch that, keep an eye out, that'll be out soon. And obviously I'll keep doing things to it. I'll keep adding different bits like kitchens and water tanks and solar panels and stuff like that. And I'll put it up on my channel for you guys to watch. And then I'll be boosting over to WA with most likely Dylan, who's my cameraman today. He's also building one. So keep an eye out for everything like that. And we'll see you in the next one. Ew! No. That's what you want in life. That's what you want. This man right here.